Hello Capricorn viewers. Right off the bat, I am getting a secret admirer type of energy from someone around you. I think that this might be someone that you overlooked or maybe you usually go for people that are more dominant or more um, forward. Maybe you're used to people asking you out. You know, it could be any, any number of things. It's just the energy I get is that you didn't completely notice them. Maybe it's someone that you thought was cute, but you didn't know that they were interested in you. Because I sense a very shy, kind of sweet, sort of passive energy from this person. And so I think that you overlooked them. I think that you just didn't. There's, there is a potential romantic connection here. I just don't think that you saw it. And I don't know if this is someone from your past or your present. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards for you. The last Capricorn video I did, I was getting that, you know, you're trying to find your true love, but you're also subconsciously pushing it away from you at the same time, maybe without even realizing it. It's, it's like you're asking for true love, but but some part of you is is pushing that love away from you um, and I went into detail about that in my last reading so it's like your guides do hear you when you're praying for love when you're asking you know to find your soulmate or your twin flame like your guides are listening to you but the thing is that you have these subconscious mental blocks that have been um, creating barriers to to that love coming in and it's possible that maybe you do have true love right in front of you or you had it in front of you in the past and it's just maybe it wasn't part of your those subconscious patterns that you're repeating so maybe you didn't notice it almost like a, a too good to be true energy or it's like they weren't your usual type maybe you had like a a set kind of almost narrow-minded way of thinking like you know it's you know it, it's going to be this way it's it's going to be this person it's it's, they're going to look like this. They're going to feel like this. So maybe you overlooked some. Maybe your guides did actually bring you someone, but maybe you weren't, um, I don't know, maybe they just weren't your usual type. So maybe there was something about that there where it was like you just kind of didn't realize that you had it right in front of you. But let's see what the cards have to say. Because I've been getting secret admirer energy. Like this is when I look into Capricorns, and I didn't get that before. It's more recent, so it could be that Maybe this person just started thinking about you again. You know, we, we are starting the uh, Mercury retrograde shadow phase today. And then I think it officially starts on the 1st, I want to say. And Mercury retrograde typically brings exes back. I mean, not always, but it tends to put people in this very introspective, nostalgic kind of energy. So maybe somebody is, you know, considering this missed opportunity and kind of wondering, like, you know, did did were you interested? Like, you know, because I think there was a lot that just was not spoken. Like, it wasn't clear. You know what I mean? Maybe this person was your friend or a co-worker. And it's like there was that romantic potential there. But it's like you just didn't realize it. Or maybe it was just someone like... I just get confusion on this person's end. Confusion. And I feel like... I mean, I get, I get a female energy. So this would be like a... a could be a female or it could just be a, um, could be a man that's in like a very feminine energy, you know, whatever your story is, could be male or female, but it's someone that's in feminine energy. It's someone that's kind of very gentle, very passive, doesn't really like confrontation, kind of shy, sweet, um, someone that might look at you and then when they catch you looking back, they'll, they'll look away and, and blush and pretend like they weren't looking at you. It's, it's that kind of energy, and I just get confusion on their end. Like, I don't know. I think it's going to be different for each one of you. I mean, for some of you, this could be someone that you're, like, a current coworker or someone that you run into. Like, maybe you run into them somewhere outside in public, and you see them regularly, and they just they, they don't know how to talk to you. For some of you, maybe there's, like, a reason they don't ask you out. Like, maybe, like, if you guys work together or, like, if they work somewhere and you go to the place where they work, Maybe they're kind of afraid because it's like they don't want to get in trouble with their, their manager or whatever because it's like unprofessional for them to ask you out. Um, and they're super shy too is what I get from them. So I don't even know if they would know how to ask you out. But but for those of you that are in this situation and you know who that person is, that's that's another factor that comes into play is like they, you know, they don't want to get in trouble with their boss or whatnot. For others, I think this is just someone from the past that was like noticing you and you just kind of saw them I don't know if you saw them. I 
I don't want to say you saw them as just a friend because it's almost like the romantic potential was there, but maybe you didn't realize they felt that way about you or maybe you just didn't, like, you weren't picking up the hints. Um, and I think that their shyness is an issue because, like, I think that you're used to people that are more outgoing. I think maybe maybe you're outgoing, so maybe you're used to... Um, I mean, you could be an outgoing introvert, as odd as that is. Maybe you kind of go back and forth between those two energies, you know? Um, and I, I feel like maybe this person was just so shy that it was like, there's no way for you to pick up those, those subtle little hints. Like there'd be no way for you to know that they were interested. Um, cause it's like, I think you're used to more outgoing people that would just ask you out or just, you know, like, Hey, let's go to a movie. Let's hang out. Like something, you know, more casual, more just relaxed, more, um, just more outgoing and so this person was so shy that I just think you probably you might have even thought that they wanted to be left alone maybe you misunderstood that shyness and, and thought that they were just not a social person but let's see what the cards have to say about your love life that's just the energy I'm getting so I don't know if you know who this is or not but they are thinking about you again is what I feel just like a very shy sweet boy or girl next door type secret admirer is what I get. Could probably help if you could see the cards, huh? Probably just a little bit. Might be useful, huh? I think so. There we go. Okay. Ooh, a ten of cups, page of swords, knight of pentacles. This is good energy. King of swords, four of pentacles. I'm going to pull one more. Five of pentacles. Okay. The sun, yeah, moving past financial issues, financial issues for some of you as well, and having a new start. Ooh, hello. Okay, this is interesting energy. So we got the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Fool, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands. I do want to say too that if you <clears throat> if you know who this person is. Like, and this would be someone who's, like, shy and sweet. They could even come off as, okay, some people that are really, I've, I've heard this, and I think it's true. Some people that are really attractive don't actually realize how attractive they are because people are too intimidated and insecure to ever pursue them. So this could be the case of somebody who's, like, really beautiful, but they're, like, they dress down. Like, you can tell that this, this male or female is, like, a beauty, like, you know, physically attractive, but it's like they wear very light makeup or like they just wear like blue jeans and an oversized shirt or something. You know what I mean? It's like they're beautiful, but they don't realize that they're attractive. Like they don't really play it up a lot. You know what I mean? Um, cause I, I sense like a very like sweet kind of nerdy, like girl or boy next door type. Someone who's super shy, super like non-confrontational. Um, and, and so it is possible that, yeah, this person might be really attractive and maybe they just, they don't realize it, you know? Maybe they've just been kind of sheltered or they just, they don't recognize it. And I want to say, like, if you know who this is, say this is like a coworker or it's someone that you, you run into the grocery store or, like, or a certain cafe or something and you see them or like a next door neighbor, if it's someone like that. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to mislead you guys because I want to make sure that you're certain you know who this person is before you pursue it. You know what I mean? I don't want to put you guys in like an awkward situation at work where you ask someone out who's not interested in you. But I will say that whoever this person is, and again, your choices are your own, like full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that you do or don't do as a result of these readings. But I will say that this person will probably not work up the courage to ask you out, even though they want to. This person... Given, given the energy too, I would think that this would be someone that would kind of live in their head a lot and be really introverted. You know, like I'm pretty nerdy. Like I'm, I consider myself a nerd. So I resonate with this energy. I understand it where it's like, we can kind of just watch like our little fantasy movies and fantasy shows and read our books and get lost in this whole other world and just fantasize sometimes, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's like, we have to ground ourselves in reality and make our dreams a physical reality and it's like the same energy that I get from this person that's that's watching you where it's like maybe they fantasize about you or they get lost in that like romantic dreamlike kind of energy or they they're curious about you but it's like they're so introverted that they they have this they're creative you know introverts are very creative 
were very passionate, very creative. So it's like they have this whole dream world in their head already. You know what I mean? And they can kind of just live there. So it's, it's like it's it's hard for that for this person to ask you out. They're just too shy. Um, so I just want to put that out there that they're probably not going to ask you out. They, they might drop little hints, but I think that their hints are so subtle that you don't even notice it. And you might like say, say this is someone at like a coffee shop you go to or something. You might like just be kind of not thinking about it. Like you go in and you just order your coffee and you're out. You don't think about it. So it's like they try to smile or they try to play with their hair. Or they try to do something kind of cute. And it's like, you don't notice it just cause your mind's not there. Your mind is focused on like, I'm getting my coffee and I'm going to work. You know, it's it's that kind of energy. And I'm not saying it's a cafe for every one of you. I'm just saying it's it's that kind of situation where it's like they see you around somewhere. I think for a lot of you, maybe for others, it might it might actually be someone that you're friends with that you that's interested in you, but they just don't want to ruin the friendship. And um, you know, they're not sure if you've considered it romantic or not. They're not sure how they would even take that next step to try to pursue you. But, but anyway, I just wanted to put that out that this prop, this person's probably too shy to ask you out. So you would have to draw, you would have to be mindful of their hints. Try to start being open-minded to the hints. If you know who this person is, be mindful of the hints and also drop hints back. It doesn't mean that you have to, um, I mean, it's up to you how much you say, but like try saying something like, oh, that's, that's a nice shirt you're wearing today. Or I noticed you cut your hair. That looks good. Um, you know, try hinting at things more and kind of use your intuition to feel that person's body language, feel their energy, feel if they're, if they're receptive to it, feel, you know what I mean? Because I get that this person, for most of you, like 90% of you, I get that this person blushes. So that is a way to tell. I think that, I don't know, because I see them blushing. I don't want to say that every single one of them blush around you, but I feel like a lot of them do because I just get that energy. Like I feel them blushing when they talk, like, like a little bit of a blush or something. Or maybe you said something in the past that made them blush. I don't know. There's just that, that energy there. Um, but yeah, I just want to put that out there that like this person is probably not going to come forward. This person is probably not going to message you, probably not going to ask you out. I think that they tried to make give you some subtle hints in the past, but those hints were just so subtle. Like I said, something like smiling or twirling their hair or, hair or hinting at something. But you, I think you were in a different mindset when they did it and you didn't even realize they, what they were trying to do. Like they're, this person is so shy that it's like they just, they can't make, they don't know how to make a major move like they need to, to, to make this happen. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, you would have to know who this is and you would probably have to make the first move, even if it's a subtle move. Like I said, you could start off with something small, like just complimenting them and, and reading their energy and kind of building it up from there to make sure this is the, the same person that I'm channeling here. But, but yeah, um, ton of cups, page of swords. So this is like, they're trying to be brave. Like they're trying to come through, but I think there's just that insecurity. Cause I think that, I think there was some miscommunication on, on, um, you know, both ends before, just cause you guys have such diverse personalities. Like, I feel like you're really outgoing and this person's really shy. And I mean, it could even be vice versa for some of you, maybe, Maybe you're the shy one and they're the outgoing one. I'm not sure. I think most of you, it's the other person that's shy. Like super shy. I'm not talking about just like normal, like, oh, they, you know, I'm, I'm talking about someone who's like really like awkward, like socially awkward kind of. But they have a very sweet, gentle energy to them. They're very kind of like very innocent, very very down to earth. You know, they do have some good qualities there. I think that they're trying, again, there was miscommunication. So they might've felt rejected by you in the past, but again, it's like your mindset just wasn't, you weren't noticing them. Maybe you were thinking about an ex, maybe you were just on your way to work, whatever it was. It's like they, they, you didn't pick up their subtle hints, but they're trying to get in this Knight of Pentacles energy. This is like a stable, strong energy. It's like this this again, it's either a male and feminine energy or it's just a female. I'm not sure which, but this person is trying to come forward to their Ten of Cups towards, you know, ha they want a home. They want, ha you know, marriage, family, love, happiness. They, they, I think this is them. They're trying to, it's like pay a page could be a message and swords. I would say that is like an intense message. Like just, they know they need to just put it out there. Like just, Hey, do you want to go out? Like they just, they're tired of not knowing if you're attracted to them or not. They're tired of not knowing if you're interested in them or not. 
they're they're really confused. They're really confused by your body language, your energy. Like they have no idea if you really notice them or not. And so this is them like they're wanting to just send that message like just hey, like I just need like they just want to know either way. I think it's causing them some anxiety here. And they just want to know like are, are you into me? Or are you not into me? But again, I don't know if they're going to work up the courage to send this message. It's like it's on their mind, but it's like this person is so shy that it's like it would take a lot for them to actually be able to send this message. So I don't know if they will or not. But they're trying to see it's like this person is trying to look at the Ten of Cups. They're trying to just be brave and strong and charge through to, to have that Ten of Cups with you. But I think they see you as like a king or queen of swords. Like they see you as someone who's kind of guarded, kind of emotionally unavailable, kind of detached, maybe not interested. Like they really just can't read you. And so it makes it hard. And it's like this person is trying to ignore that energy and just push through so that because they want that Ten of Cups with you. You know, I guess, I mean, for most of you, I feel like this is like a shy secret admirer, but I guess it could potentially be like an ex that's maybe still attached to you. Maybe you were kind of like emotionally unavailable with them and maybe they're, they haven't really let it go for some of you. Um, there's something with finances here that you're getting out of poverty soon or something, some career opportunity, something might be coming for some of you with the sun here. You got a new start with the fool, could be a new start with career, with love, with everything. And the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. That is interesting energy here. Hmm. I kind of feel like it's saying that this person in feminine energy, like they have, they're, they have more inside them than they let on. I think maybe, maybe their feelings for you were just so strong that it was kind of like they wanted to impress you. And so they were kind of shy and awkward and scared around you. And so maybe you saw them that way, like you saw them as someone who just wouldn't be your type because of their shyness. But maybe it's just that, I mean, this is the energy I feel from them, but it's possible that that's just the energy that they're in because you mean so much to them, you know? Like maybe you just make them nervous and you make them shy and maybe they think that you're really attractive. And so it's like they just don't know. It's like they don't want to lose you, you know what I mean? So they're always trying to awkwardly do or say the right thing, like trying to impress you. And I think it's kind of saying like, this person might be stronger than they seem. Like they might have more of a personality than they than what you've seen just because, you know, it's saying don't judge them for that shy energy because that shy energy just might be how they are with you because they're afraid of rejection. And they might actually have more of a high priestess energy once you get to know them, more of like an intuitive, you know, strong, compassionate, empathetic kind of energy once you actually open that door and, and, you know, things start naturally progressing. So I hope this resonates. Um, please comment, share, subscribe, uh, you know, let me know what you guys, if it resonates with you. Um, and I, you know, any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar. My link is below. It all adds up really quickly. It's deeply appreciated. I also do paid private readings and my email is below if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching.